Hey friends, good evening. This is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good. I've got some requests from many of you asking me to prepare a video on Salesforce bulk macros. So today we will be discussing on how to create a bulk macros in Salesforce. But before we move further, I would request you all to please go through my video on Salesforce macros where we talked about what is a macro, how you can enable a macro, certain prerequisites which are needed for the macro. Uh, what and all the permissions that are needed and then we went into the details about how to create a macro in the system. Today we will see what is a bulk macro and how to create a bulk macro in Salesforce. Bulk macro is mainly used to perform a repetitive task on multiple records at the same time. There are a few points that we have to remember. First one is you have to check whether your profile has access to that. So go to the profiles and verify whether you have run macros on multiple records enabled or not. If it is not enabled, then you can edit the specific profile and click on enable run macros on multiple records. So that is first point to remember. The second one is go to the from the setup, search for the user interface, click on the user interface and verify whether enable enhanced list checkbox is enabled or not. If it is not enabled, please go ahead and enable that. And there are other prerequisites which is mentioned in my earlier video, how to enable the macros and what and all of the steps that you need to do in order to create a macro. So with the use of this uh, bulk macros, it makes the life of a support agent very easier. And they can, it, what it means is it makes uh, with the help of this bulk macros, support agents can address any similar uh, issues very quickly. Let's take an example. For example, you are working in an organization and there are a couple of multiple records wherein you have to multiple account records wherein you have to create certain tasks. So this is a repetitive activity, isn't it? So for these repetitive activities, you can make use of a bulk macro and you can perform your activity very easily. We will see now how we can perform that or how we can create a bulk macro in Salesforce. Um, we will go to our application, console application, that is Salesforce console application. From the console application, go to any of the account record, search for any of the existing account. And if you recall, we have added this macro as a utility item. Click on the macros and click on add button, that is create a macro. Give a name, create a task for all matching accounts. So that is our task. And it is always a best practice to update your description so that it gives your support agent a understanding what is what is the use of this macro and when they can use this specific macro. So I can just make copy copy and paste because this is just for our demo purpose. And then which specific object you would like to create a macro for. So for now, our use case is account. I'm using an account. Click on save. Then click on edit instructions from the right hand side. Click the button edit instructions. A new tab gets opened up. Then add, click on add instructions. Go to new task, click on that and go to subject, update. Assign task to users September 30. Once you did that, click on save. Submit actions gets created, gets updated. So it's a very simple macro that you are creating. Just all the accounts, whichever the support agent feels that they need to create a task. For all those accounts, support agents can click on all those records and just click on run macro. What this macro will do, macro will run uh, this particular um, activity on all the records. Click on save. So your macro is saved. Let us go to the same account record. Go to not account record. Let's go to account. Uh oh, let's go to account. Go to the list view. All accounts. And click on any of the 
maximum 10 records you can send at a time. So you can send 10 records at a time. So click on macros. Here you see create a task for all the matching accounts. Before prior to this uh, create a task, you see this particular icon. This is a lightning bolt icon, which means that this specific um, uh, macro which you have created, it is applicable for the bulk macros. And at the top of the page, you can also see that the page supports the bulk macros or not. So with this, you can navigate or do some troubleshooting why the bulk macros is not enabled. If you don't see this lightning bolt icon on the page, wherever you're trying to apply, which means that it that specific uh, macro is not best suited for bulk macros. So now click on this and click on run macros. So when you click on run macros, it will ask, do you want me to run the macros on all the nine records? Then yes, that is what is our business use case. So I'm clicking on run. So all the nine records, macro will be scheduled or run. Minimize this. I have scared, looked out for this one. Let's check that whether the macro has applied or not. Just now, micro got updated. So assign task to the users, September 30. So this is how you create a bulk macro and you can use the bulk macro for multiple records and that yeah, so you can you can use it on the multiple records, which makes the life of the support agents very uh, easy. So that is it. This is how you create a bulk records on multiple records. I hope this session is helpful for some of you. Um, thank you all for watching all my videos. And if at all you uh, would like to watch more videos, you can go to our channel SFDC One Stop. And also you can go visit our blog, which is SFDC One Stop dot blogspot dot com, which has a lot of further information. Thank you all once again and have a good rest of your day. Bye bye.